Okay, read that again, brother. Read that again. The Most High is jealous, and the Lord Jehovah revengeth. The Lord Jehovah revengeth and is furious. The Lord Jehovah will take vengeance on his adversaries. Yeah, and he, the, yeah it says Jehovah. What is it? It says that the Lord revengeth, and he will and he will revenge against his adversaries. Well, we can get two scriptures on that. You get me Isaiah sixty-four. Because that's what's all coming down the pike at the end, man. That's what's all coming down the pike at the end of the day. Esau is going to get his ass whooped. That's right. Okay. Everything that Esau's did, going all the way back to the to the time of Babylon when he said race it, race it to the foundation of the Even all the way going back to when he was king, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to pay for every little bit of sin or transgression they've committed. So this is why we as brothers, man, really technically, yeah, we wouldn't do a hell of a lot because of Esau, but really, when you really compare the kind of pain he's gonna experience, or they're gonna experience, again, it's pale in comparison to what we've, what we've experienced. So yeah, give me what you got. Yeah, give me the one where it talks about how the Lord coming with die garments. And then I mean, give me somebody to get that. Yeah, where it says, um, the Lord will, uh, will come against them that pierce them. Okay. One and seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is Isaiah 63. It says, Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bosra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Mm. I that speak in righteousness mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? And that's why, man, you got to understand as well. The reason why these Edomites, man, they're so head set into Satanism because they really know that the Creator looks just like us. And when he comes back, boy, oh boy, man, there's going to be some, some, <laughs> there's going to be some judgment coming down, man. And it's not going to be nice. And they know this. And this is why they're trying everything in their power to set up this one, this so-called one world order that they got in plan and store that they've had for centuries. And they're hoping like hell that if they can, if they can get this done thing, if they can get this damn thing done right the right way, then that means they can, they can pretty much do away with the people that have the birthright. And they can get the birthright. And therefore the Lord will have no flesh to be saved. You know, so this is what they think. This is what they want to do. But most side is only giving them but a short period of time. And this is why now they have to move quick. This is why they're pushing this transgenderism and all of this other stuff. That's the moving fast. Because they know that their time is about to be up. Go on, brother. So look, yeah, um, I, I did a, um, I watched the RT report and they've now got something called trans race. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah if you're, let's say like you're, you're, you're an Edomite. Matters. If you feel like it, you can go to authorities and become an Edomite. I feel, I feel like being an Indian, so I'm now going to identify as a so-called yeah. Indian. Well, you've got examples of that. You've got actual got people that, uh, what was her name, Rachel Dolez or whatever. Oh yeah. yeah. She yeah, got yeah, exposed yeah. as a, as a so-called white woman, but she, you know, she's putting on fake tan and free yeah. yeah. And teaching. Yeah, yeah, but you know what though, she, I, don't cut, I, don't, I don't mean to cut you, brother, but you know what I was thinking too? Maybe she could be Jake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, you know, you just never know. No, but, um, but yeah, continue what she was saying. They did trace her family. Well, by looking at them, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say they are Jake because they traced their family, mm. and, they, and their family said no. They like the mother and the father. Yeah. And you, when you look at the, when you look at them, there's no nothing about them. They're very just straight. That that corporate look the about them. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she was actually teaching um, black history, God. and she was adding her own little agendas to it. Mm -hmm. but the spirit doesn't reveal that she's a Jake right at the moment, anyway. Yeah, but you never know, man. You, you never really know because you got a lot of Israelites, man. You'd be surprised because it does so. It does say in the scriptures. It says no. And I'm not saying. I'm not trying to say that everybody's an Edomite. Come on now. You know what I mean. You brothers know where I'm coming from. And those of you that are watching. But what I'm saying is, is you. you <laughs> I mean, certain brothers are going to be surprised when they find out certain things because even the most those Amalekite, or I call them Stumalekites. We even got Jake's among them, too. Uh, you see. We had one pair of busy earlier on. Yeah, but you know. Uh, got a preset. Hey man, <laughs> it remains to be seen if he's a this one. Go on, go. And this is um, this is Isaiah chapter eleven, yeah. verse eleven, yeah. and it shall come to pass in that day yeah. that the Lord shall set His hand again, the second time, to recover the remnant of His people, mm. which shall be left from Assyria, 
from and from Egypt. Yeah, so you got Israelites in Assyria, and you got a lot of you got certain people that's from the northern kingdom that's in Syria, that was mixed amongst those um Assyrians, those uh, um Asherites, I say, born there. Uh, and from Egypt, and from <coughs> Pathros, and from Cush, mm. and from Elam. Yeah, so you got. Like for example, we got a brother that's from um that he's in the other camp, the brother from um uh, where's he from man? He's from um Eritrea. So you got brothers coming from Eritrea side of things. That's in that's in the truth. Uh, from Elam and from Shaina. Right, you got those um, uh, those untouchables down in the depths of India, and then you got the Punjabi people as well. And it's like um this this one guy came up, right? He pretty much I ordered some pizza and then he came through and me and him we was talking good good and he said, um I asked him, I said, Where you from, man? Cause he had the spirit on him, so he said, um, "I'm from, um, I'm from Punjab." You know, he said, uh, he said it like in effect, like he, like he, like I'm supposed to know where he's from. You know, but he had the spirit of Jake on him. So you got even Israelites, even amongst those people, going, brother. And from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. Mm. Uh, yeah, give me the scripture where it says, um, "Israel be as the sand of the sea," but yet a remnant shall return. Somebody, give me that. Yeah, one and two. Alright. <coughs> I got a quick, I got a preset. Yo, hold on to that, brother. I want to get Isaiah this chapter quick. one, verse yeah, ten. Ten, ten, and it says, um, hey, hold on. Yeah, here we go. Hear the, hear the word of the Lord Jehovah, ye rulers of Sodom. Mm. Give air unto the law of our power, ye people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifice unto me? Mm saith the Lord, I am full of the burnt offerings of rams. Wait, wait. Yeah, read 1 to 10 again. I might have um, I might have I, not caught it. Yeah, I don't think it. Isaiah 1 and 10. No, no, Hosea. 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 Hosea, Hosea Salakia, Salakia, Salakia. All right, Hosea chapter 1 and 10, and it reads, yeah, here we go. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, mm. which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass <laughs> that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. Yeah, so that's just the point on that. And I want to also hop on this one guy, man, that I spoke about four years ago. And, um, you know, a lot of you brothers know about him. Well, now from the Phobie camp. You know, he left the truth, what, three and a half, four years ago. Now he's coming back on the scene, and he's now had a, uh, a new revelation <laughs> <laughs> and his new revelation is, is that all of the tribes got to be so-called Negroes none of the tribes can't be of the northern kingdom or look like or look like the other nations this is what he's teaching now you understand so here it is you got a god of the, that have came into the truth right to try to promote his camp because what he used to do I remember seeing him when he when he had his beginning him in this camp mm. um when they had the beginning stages what they would do they would get around in other camps like he would be in a box camp i'm talking yeah. about the phobie camp yeah and he'll be in another man's camp and i believe he was with the hodc yeah. and the forcing street israelites and then he had his own camp and um he was teaching for a little bit there and there but then afterwards he just gave up the plow yeah he left the plow gave it up and now he's back on the scene and then he and, and then he comes back to lock it then he leaves again and then he's back all over again the scriptures don't say you gotta be on enough about this truth. The scripture says, man, that you gotta be on it. You gotta be on fire. Get somebody give me that. Uh, what is it, Luke? Uh, not Luke, but Revelations, the third chapter. And also, somebody give me Luke 19 as well, man. It's I'll crazy, man. Some of these guys, is, uh, when you go on this page, <laughs> like you see his last videos, you say like it's like about five videos from like a year ago or something. Yeah. And then there are other videos like three years ago. Here yeah, you've disappeared for a whole three years, and then you're just gonna come up now, appear from nowhere. And now you're gonna correct everybody about their doctrine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he became an elder after like what, yeah. three years. Yeah. It's like a, it's just a few videos as well, and then afterwards you, you look further, yeah, it room. says four years. So like about two three years. <laughs> about almost three or four years, he was gone. He's, yeah. he's paid nothing. Yeah. And then now you're gonna come now, you're gonna with a, now come back on fire and everything. And then you did that little thing that they did this video of uh, he put Apostle Taha mm -hmm. on the on the on the right side, and then him like open with his mouth open, and then like fire coming out of his mouth, and like <laughs> basically burning everybody, right? 
That's from now he just appears now he or now he's come he back now to correct to correct all Israel. Yeah, he was meditating the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. When, yeah, that's when he had that revelation. Yeah. 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 Revelation yeah. came with him. Five years that Moses went to the mountain. Yeah. 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 <laughs> For four years, he was chatting down and saying, Yeah, yeah Lord, yeah. Uh, I'm a god there and shoot him with a stone. Shoot him with a stone. And he created so he came with some new commandments too. You know, yeah. yeah. New commandments, oh, man. man. <laughs> Stop it, man. Go on. He's going about the sojourner. The sojourner. What the hell are you on about when the sojourner, about? Right. Yeah. Right. And it's just him and the Lord together. Yeah. He's communing. Go on. This is Luke 9 and 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom yeah, of the Most High. Exactly, man. So he looked back. And also, what he also did, according to Hebrews the 10th chapter, he drew back the sword. Somebody give me that. Somebody give me Hebrews the 10th chapter. Yeah, I think it's 34, 35. Yeah, you're gone. It's uh, Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Yeah. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Most High come forth. Exactly, but he put more He put more than just a day off. He put three years off, man. And he, then now, he came, now he's coming back now. Yeah, and he's yeah. saying he wanted to bait this guy and that guy. He's doing sit downs about ISUBK and GMS. Come on, dog, man. You have, you, listen, bro. Listen, man. You don't have no place to debate nobody or to even come back on the scene to declare who's right and who's wrong. That's okay? Why, Go on, bro. That's why there's that video where he said there at the beginning. He goes, oh, can you tell the fan something about the fan? Yeah. Oh, yes. And then he said, <laughs> and he said it's, it's hot and cold at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, nigga. It's hot and cold at the same time. Yeah. Like, oh, sh I was like, oh, shit. It's a lukewarm, isn't it? Yeah. And the spirit had him say that yeah. to declare that he's, he's just that. He's a lukewarm. He's what you call a bench woman. He's been sitting down on the bench for too long to the point where the bench got um, too warm, man. Anyway, brother, yeah, read that. The Lord ain't looking for bench women. The Lord is looking for guys that are going to stand up on their feet and proclaim his word. Uh, this is Hebrews 10 and 38. It says, Now the just shall live by faith. Oh, yeah. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Yeah, it says the just shall live by faith. So if the, if the just are living by faith, what are they going to be doing based on them having faith? They're going to come out here and do what's commanded. They're going to come out into the highways and the byways and they're going to reprove and rebuke with all long suffering. So you have to suffer while you're coming out here. You have to suffer the people that's, that, that's coming up with, with clownery. And then you have to also suffer the elements as well. Sometimes it'll be raining. It'll be snowing. Okay, or you may be in a cold. You may be in a cold and it's raining at the same time, which that's the worst. Okay, but we're still out here and we're doing the work. Reprove, rebuke with all long suffering that don't mean that you come out here one minute you may put in your couple of months or you may put in a couple of years in and then all, all of a sudden you, you snucking back to your cave for a couple of amount of years and now you're going to come back on the scene there's no you can't do that man go on bro Wait, Just finish it. yeah go on, go on. <coughs> yeah so first 39 says but we are not of them who draw back yes. to perdition yeah but of them that but of them that believe to the saving of the, the soul. souls and that's what we believe in exactly. so if we believe in this 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 idea that we're going to save souls and save our own asses then what do we ought to do to do this work what is the sword the sword is the scriptures it tells you that um i believe is in the uh, uh hebrews the fourth chapter i believe where it says that this word is is as a sword is as a double-edged sword hebrews, uh, piercing four, even four. to the heart so the sword is the scriptures so we're not going to uh, withdraw from teaching the word of the Lord. We're going to continue to do so, so that we can save our own asses and save also the elect. Second Corinthians chapter five and eleven. Therefore, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We persuade men. Exactly. So, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Who is the we? The brothers that know the truth and that are out doing the work, coming out in all seasons strong, pushing it, not coming, not coming into the truth. And you promoting your camp, you going from you leading your camp from one camp to the next camp to promote yourselves in the process so you can make a name for yourself, right? Because and it's like the apostle Gabon did a sit down about how saying um a lot of you Israelites are full of shit. And that's just really what it is, man. Like a lot of these guys that, that set up camps, they really setting up camps and they're doing this thing because they want to uh, um, um, conjure up some kind of fame. Yeah, there's, there's a scripture on that as well. That's what they want. They want. They want to be famous. They want to get a name. They want all the the, uh, the ladies to say, 
Shalom, brother. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a scripture yeah. in that store. <laughs> That's what they People want. That they teach the scripture for yeah, fame and glory. For fame and glory. They teach the scriptures for other things. For mm. But meanwhile, what we should be doing is teaching to save our assets, man. Because we need to be saved, man. You know that? Yeah, we'll get looking for that. You know, and you got certain guys, what they do is just they'll, they'll tell them their video. Yeah. 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 I want to finish what I'm saying. Like, like, you know, I just want to get a couple of things on my chest. And um, at the same time, like I was, you know, talking to the cameraman last week about the seriousness of this truth and other brothers. I'll get it. I'll find it. I'll find it. The Lord, I mean, you got to understand, man. This is what Jake don't understand. Right? Jake is not paying attention to it. I'm talking about the Jakes that's in the street that know yeah, the Israelites. The Philippines, one of 15, they don't understand how serious this thing is, man. Okay? And you, you know how you know that this thing is serious? Because our Lord and our Savior, he went on the cross, man. And this man suffered excruciating pain for hours. Just, just, yeah, just for the sake of them, these niggas, man. Just for the sake of them. Right. And they're going to they're gonna use this truth as a way so that they can garner some kind of fame. Like it's a joke. This is not a joke, man. That's right. This truth ain't a joke, man. Okay. That's why I said, um, I said that, Jake, you, you're, you're obligated to to obey Yahweh Shai. Because he died for you. He did it for you to for you to make it to the kingdom. Yeah. So you, you're indebted to Yahweh Shai. That's right. You owe him service. Right. You owe him. Now you niggas, you walking past that camp making mockery. You niggas are gonna die, man. That's right. Yeah. He's gonna come, he tells you in um is this second Thessalonian. He goes, um, to you are troubled rest of us when the Lord shall be revealed from heaven mm. with his mighty angels and taking vengeance on all them that obey not the gospel. Right. He's gonna take vengeance on you niggas because you owe him. Yo! What? Oh my word. What, man? What's that? Oh, I just, oh, I these lights, man. Oh, slack it, come on, slack it. <laughs> That's scary, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, what? You know, what, what the fuck? Is, is, is that the chariot? No, it's not the chariot, slack no, it's it. Yeah, it's these lights. Them lights that you bend them and then they, 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 they create, uh, what do you call <laughs> oh, that? Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 I don't want to be slack. Carry on, carry on, bro. <laughs> Wait, carry on, bro. I thought, I thought that was the deliverance, <laughs> right? right? <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, bro. Yeah, using the switch. This time I found out about chariots. I seen something like the sky, man. I actually thought that was the chariots, man. They kept on, they kept on going around in circles, those lights. And then I found out, man, those are some type of some stadium down the road. Yeah, like you know, they they hold those little horses things for the kids to play with and all that merry-go-round and shit like that. That pissed me off, right? So, so yeah, that's what I'm saying is that some some. You, you niggas, you owe, you owe you Howard Shai, okay? Right. Because he said he, he said he, um, <coughs> says, um, he shall be born, his name shall be Howard Shai, and he shall save his people from mm -hmm. their sins. Yeah. So he, di he died to wash away the sins of the nation, mainly the elect, but the whole nation, man, so mm -hmm. all of you can make it to the kingdom. Okay? But a lot of you are, are falling short of that calling. That were all called, but it says, but few are chosen. Yeah. All right, so yeah, oh, okay. I've got a proud precept. Okay, yeah, read that. This is Luke 12, verse 45. But and that if that servant say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and that's what and that's basically what you're saying. When you when you when you step to the plow, let, let me let the brother finish. I gotta let him finish this, right? Finish that in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maids maidens and to eat and drink and to be drunken, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him. Exactly. And like yeah. I said, they're, they're already declaring that the, the, the Lord of the Lord is coming by uh, withdrawing from teaching. So when you withdraw from the teaching, it's really because you believe church. that the Lord is going to come probably in, the, in another 10 years time or another three years time. So that's what they're saying, the Lord delay of his coming. You understand? Come, I'll show you. But you can see it from not, the roof. They don't have it in mind. Can you see the light flashing at the roof? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. They don't have it in mind that the Lord can come in at any given moment in time. Okay? That's why it says what it says. Read that one more time, brother. Put the left. It says, the Lord, verse 46, and the Lord, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him. Yeah. And at an hour when he is not aware. Right, and an hour when he is not aware, because doesn't it say 
um, the Lord so coming as a thief in the night. What does that mean? Meaning he's going to come unexpectedly. Suddenly he's going to come. So we have to be on our watch. So if, if you was on your watch, then you would, you would prepare for the thief to come. Metaphorically speaking, that the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. And this is why we all, we all have to be occupied in prophecy. We have to be occupied in what's going on around us. And, and, and look and see what's going on in the heavens and the signs. Okay? Not doing your little bits and pieces and then you withdraw. And, you know, you go back into your cave, right? And you and you take breaks. We, 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 don't, we don't do breaks and break no stuff. That's right. There's no such thing as a break. Okay? Go on, brother. When he's not aware and we'll cut him in sunder and we'll appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. Right, and we'll, we'll appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. We, somebody get, I tell you what, the one, give me Revelation 21, verse 8. Because there's a judgment coming unto those that don't believe as well. Revelation 21, verse 8. <laughs> but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers okay. and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which yeah. is the second death. And that's how the unbelievers are going to be destroyed. They're going to be destroyed when those nuclear missiles drop, hit ground zero and, and proliferate the fires. And they're going to be swarming in that lake of fire. Like I always say, they're going to be doing all kinds of strokes that's in that lake of fire. Right. And, that's going to be, and that's going to be to their end. Yeah, yeah, go on, brother. Yeah, this is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. <clears throat> But the day of the Lord will come Beautiful. as a thief in the night. Yeah, so if we know that the Lord, as the scriptures tells us, that the Lord so coming as a thief in the night, that means we gotta be on our we have to be on our watch. That means we gotta be diligent in the works. Okay? That's what that means. We have to be aware, we have to watch what's going on around the world. We can't be getting caught up in watching sports all, all the daggone time, which is nothing wrong with it. If you wanna watch sports, that's cool. But you have to balance your time and know that I can't get too carried away with this. Mm. Yeah. Or you may be playing your video games or whatever. You got to put that aside, man, and, and, and look look around because everything's happening. Go on, brother. When you're consumed, dude, that other extra stuff, man. Yeah. You know, you're there, you wake up on your day off, you're on a day off. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you wake up in the morning, yeah, yeah. you know you're supposed to either have done a video or you're supposed <laughs> to have been studying or whatever, man. Yeah. You put your PlayStation on, the next thing, the whole day is gone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Afterwards, you're tired, you know, you gotta go to sleep and you, you, you've literally wasted the whole day, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you don't wanna, you don't wanna be in that spirit, man. Go on, Everybody's got precepts, man, at the same time. Let's finish this one. And it says, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, yeah. and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And I was watching the video that the brother did in, um, what is it, the St. Louis camp, GMS St. Louis. And um, he pretty much went into that, how all of the elements are going to be cleansed because of the fire. Because you have elements floating around the air. Like you have, um, you have barium oxide floating yeah, yeah. around. So you have all of these different elements that we don't even see. Yeah. It's destroying our bodies. Right. Right, the fire right, is right. going to cleanse all of that too. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the chemtrails. Yeah, yeah. The chemtrails, yeah. Bacteria, all them different kind of bacteria as well. Yeah. And this is why, if you notice, people nowadays, they're having children, and the children are coming out looking all kind of ways, man. Because of the, the, the air, the, the, the air is polluted. Yeah, you yeah. got people that suffer from asthma. Yeah. That's because of this, um, they're cutting trees down, and um, what is it, um, limiting the amount of oxygen. Yeah. Because the body needs oxygen so that the body can function. Yeah. But what does Esau do? Esau cuts everything down that brings life. Yeah. That's what he do. And that's why people are sick. And this is why we need a savior. Like, you know, the water said, the savior has to come and, and, and set the earth all right. That's why it says in the scriptures, we look forward to a new heavens and a new earth right. that dwelleth right. in right. righteousness. Right. Right. That's why we come out here and do this work. We don't come out here to, to, to conjure up some kind of fame. So we can so we can hear the, the women of our nation say shalom, brother. Go, 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 peace upon you. And hear brothers say, oh man, yo, ark man, yo, speak, brother, speak. That's right. Yeah, you know? that's, that's right. That's that's right. <laughs> you know, you're not coming out here for that. We're coming out here to hasten in the coming of the day of the Lord, so we can get the hell out of here, right? And and we, so we can rule in righteousness, so that we can be changed, so that we can be righteous all over again, and then experience of what it means to live a perfect. Uh, um, beautiful lifestyle, man. And uh, another thing is, man, this this whole work, different abilities that we have, it's not it's not of us, man. It's of the Lord. It's not it's not it's not at the end of the day so that we can get praised. It's at the end of the day, man, so the Lord can get His praise, man. Exactly. You know, 
Exactly. Yeah, come on. That's, that's, that's beautiful because um, the scripture where um, the man was blind and the disciples came to the Lord and said, was it he yeah, or his parents yeah. that sinned? Right. And he said, it's neither this man nor his parents, but that the works of the Father <coughs> may be manifest, ma manifest yes. in him. Yeah. So it's all, it all goes back to the Lord setting up, you know, giving you gifts or even you giving hard situations, mm -hmm. both sides, it's all so that the glory can go to Yahweh, Yahweh, yeah. 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 They also, the other account as well in the book of Acts, when the apostle, when the guy asked the apostle Peter and John for, for money, and then he says, this I have, man, in the name of, you know, Yahweh, Shai, Mashiach, yeah. rise up and walk. Yeah. And he stood up and the people were praising them and they, they, they got told, man, you're praising us, man, like it's, 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 it's by our, our own power that we view this man. Mm. You know, so they had to break it down, they had to break it down, whose power, whose, is through whose power that they made that man uh, walk again, man. Right. You know, which is through the Lord. Yeah, and, and it just makes all the sense in the world because before we all get glorified, who has to get the glory first? Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shah has to get the glory. So everything is everything that we're doing, like the brother just said, is all based on the Lord showing what he's made out of, man, and getting his praise. Because his name is being the reason and the reason why we're doing this also is to praise his name at the same time. That's right. To magnify his name. So we're not out here to magnify ourselves. Now if we get magnified, then it's alright, that's cool. But if it don't come, we shouldn't be looking for it. Because at the end of the day, this truth ain't about us. It's bigger than us. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because if it was all about us, then we could save ourselves then. We can't save ourselves out right. of situation. Go on, brother. So this is on Philippians 1, <clears throat> verse 15, right? Uh, some indeed preach a Mashiach, beautiful, beautiful. even of envy yep. and strife, and some also of goodwill. And also, it's also some of them with goodwill. So who are the ones that are going to be preaching with goodwill? Those that are generally honest about this truth. Those that serve him and, 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 and uh, what is it? serve him in spirit and in truth. But the others are gonna are gonna do the Lord's work in envy and strife. In other words, when you look up the word debate, like the apostles looked up, it means strife. It means fight. So the guy came back on the scene, this Kornal character from the Fopi camp came back on the scene and he wants to debate guys that have been doing the work ever since he's been in this freaking cave. Go on, brother. The the one preach Hamashak of contention. Right, of contention, mm. not sincerely. Not sincerity. So you got men that are, that are doing the work, not sincerity. Right. What does it mean that they're not doing the sincerity? In other words, what they're doing is they're teaching the word, like we've said earlier, to, to, to conjure up some fame. Right. So they can make a name for themselves. And shout, that's right. Every time the scriptures is read. Bring it out. Bring it out, brother. <laughs> Go on, bro. And I mean, sometimes you kind of, I mean, you have to laugh when you see it, man. It's, 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 it's just that it's entertaining, but that's why they do it. Yeah, preach. <laughs> it's entertaining, and that's what that's what Jake is all about. All that Jake want to do is either be entertained or to entertain. This ain't. This is not an entertainment matter. The fact yeah. that you said that is yeah on that on that Fope, uh YouTube page, the, the one of their recent videos, yeah. which was like about three minutes long, and then uh, the guy is he's talking. He goes, well, first of all, he says thank you for the promotion to GMS. And then what this the guy says like, well, you come, you're making responses and you're getting 20 views. Because 20 views in one day. What are we going to do with 20 views in one day? Right. You come back to us when you're getting 1,000 views in one day. You know? Right. You yeah. come back to us after getting 1,000 views in one day. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. oh, see, this is what they are. You know? Look, talking about the views and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? And he, and he says, well, some of us don't know what we're involved in. And he, he back to what you said, um, that a lot of Israelites are full of shit. Mm -hmm. And... He, when he uses the example, when he got arrested, um, the the twin towers, were, and he said he, he went back straight away, you know, and yeah. he, he made a vow to the Most High, yeah. saying that if he let him out of it, let, you know, he's going to serve yeah, him forever. Yeah. 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 Oh, that was way before that. That was not in the, during the uh, twin towers. Huh? That was before he came in the truth. That story. When he got arrested, he mentioned the twin towers. When he got arrested. No, no, that was. That no, was so when he made that no, That vow. was before the twin towers. Uh, but he got arrested. Yeah, 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 yeah. When he got, got arrested, he, when he was in prison at one stage, he said that he made a vow to the Mosai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that when he, he came in the truth, like in the, like 1991. When he was arrested. Yeah. yeah. And he and he and he said he stuck to that vow. Mm -hmm. So he said a lot of us don't know what we're involved in, which some of us have been arrested. Yeah. Yeah. In in our defence as well, in some of the brothers' them defence, but a lot of the Akium. Um, don't know what they're involved in, and I have, and to use the example of a lot of them Christians, like I use the vocab alone, which goes along, with, which is in the same spirit of all them other Israelites. If they was to get arrested, 
Bokeh okay, Malone for for do for do. They'll give it up. They throw it. They yeah. they curse out of that Christianity. You they see would... the shit coming right through their jeans, man. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> so they, you know, they're coming against the the, the real men of the Lord who've been arrested. Been we we're willing to die for it. Most yes. of the sincere brothers are willing to die for it, and he's coming coming against us like. Like um, he, you know, he's willing to die for what he's what he, he ain't right. willing to die for what he believes in. Yeah, right. Yeah, but, yeah. And what he believes in is it's not it's va it's vanity because there's no there's no substance to Christianity. When you actually study what when you actually go back to the to the origin of Christianity, it's all Babylonianism, man. It's all it's it's all based on confusion, man. Yeah, yeah. And and when you actually un understand something, right? When you an when you analyze Christianity, I want to use the word analyze. Um. Now the word Christian goes back to the word anointed, doesn't anointed. it? Right? So what group of people were known to be the anointed or to get the anointing? The, um, the, the ones that followed Yahweh Shai. Who, who can only but follow Yahweh Shai? The Israelites. Exactly. So how can another nation be a part of that and call themselves Christians? Brother, if you can, somebody give me Acts 13. Because oh. really, modern day Christianity, that's pretty much um, Edomite supremacy, or what you call so-called white supremacy. Yeah. That's all that is pretty much. Because yeah. um, if Jake's in, in church knew who the Most High is, who the Israelites were, so they knew the truth, they'd be free from this modern day Christianity. They'd be yeah. free from that that shackle, that mental shackle in the chains, man. Mm. Okay? They'd be liberated to this to this liberty, man. You know, the scriptures talk about I've set to set the captives loose or something like that right isaiah 58 isaiah 61 i've said to, to set at liberty the captives or something like that oh yeah yeah yeah. majority yeah. of our yeah. people are in, they're in a captive state, state of mind, mind man. yeah on a, on a mental and spiritual level man. and another thing i wanted to talk about which is um christianity is christianity really goes all the way back to the nicene council which the fought which the founding fathers right. which were jakes which um which was set up by uh, what's what's his name, man? Constantine. Constantine and Noble. Yeah, they, the the Council of Nicaea, which was the fourth century A.D., and um, that was basically what that was all about. The Council of Nicaea was basically about redefining or reestablishing what was taught within that time period. Now, not within that time period, but 300 plus years or maybe 400 years in terms of um, the prophets' preaching. So they, what they did is, is they 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 found the books. Right, the writings, and they pretty much put their spin to it, you know, and that's what you have Christianity today. Modern, yeah, yeah, it's like basically today we're called what, man? The Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. So now a thousand or two thousand years from now, and then that becomes a massive religion. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's back then was the uh, the uh, the, the was, uh, was Christians were uh, the followers of Yahweh Shai. Yeah. yeah. Like this, this the followers of Yahweh Shai. Then that's us now. Yeah. Back yeah. again. Yeah. So now after a period of time, let's say. Uh, the Lord allows us to do like this time. The only difference between then and now is this time we're gonna get delivered. Mm -hmm. That's that time we all died. Yeah, yeah. You know, we all died, and this thing continued, continued, and then it became the it, it's become the modern day Christian that you see now, man, mm -hmm. or which is uh, corrupted and defiled and you know all kinds of madness. What yeah. the Apostle Paul say uh, after my departure? Uh, Previous rule shall end. Yeah. 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 You know, right? So, so Stirring the flock. So that last time, that time was the uh, the Mashiachs, yeah. or the followers of Yahweh Shai, yeah. Christians. Yeah. yeah. The Messiah. Today we're called what the Hebrew Israelites, or the, the, the demonizing way, the Black Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, real quick, um, brothers, get one of you brothers get me Acts 13, and you can read the precepts. I want to yeah, read I'll, this. I'll finish this. this thing. I'll tell you what. Hold on to that. I want I want him to get this real quick. This, this real is uh, Acts 11 and 26, and it says, and when he had found him, he brought him into Antioch, and when it came, it's like. <laughs> so lucky. He said the one in Acts, Acts 13. Strong, strong. No, it's Acts 13. Okay, you can, you can give me that. Okay. Yeah. But give me the one in Acts 13 yeah, as well. Okay. Okay. So this is Acts 11 and 26. And then we're going to go back to that one right there. Go on, bro. Uh, Acts 11 and 26. <laughs> and when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church yeah. and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Right, and the disciples were called Christians in, in Antioch. So we've, well, we've already established what the word Christian means. It just means someone that's anointed. Okay? And the only people that were able to be anointed were the people of Israel. And if you want to take it further back, during the time of Moses, excuse me, the only people that could actually receive the anointing were the Levites, which was, which was of a tribe of Israel. 
So we can't call 